understand their concern. No one wants to see business leave, even though I do love a sale, I do love mm -hmm. a closing sale. Well, I think it speaks to how long it takes to recover from a major economic uh, catastrophe like Studebaker closing. It was like 5,000 people. Jeez. Boom. And then and jobs, and then jobs too, oh, yeah. jobs lost. Yeah, it took a long time to recover from that. So. Well, I'm glad that we did, and go. I think we can hopefully we'll recover from the rain today. Yeah, we'll recover <laughs> from the rain. I don't know if you'll recover from my poetry, though. Nobody ever does that. So we've got really bad, awful poetry. For those of you in town, it's not you know, awful. maybe visiting from uh, Southern California, you're like, what is this guy doing? Yeah, it's called The Weather Could Be Verse, and here you go. With a solar eclipse this afternoon, a boy asked his father in Goshen, can you tell me what an eclipse is, Dad? He thought for a moment and said, no, son. <laughs> Get it? No sun. Uh, yeah, it just goes away. Uh, yeah. All right, so uh, there you go. A solar eclipse this afternoon that we will not see because it's so cloudy here. Uh, we call it the permacloud. It moves in in October. It stays until May. And uh, so here we go. It's just, and it changed like that. You remember a couple of weeks ago, it was 86 degrees on a Wednesday, and suddenly it was cloudy and 50 degrees by Friday. That's the way it works around here. And uh, here at WND, you can hear the rain coming down. We can hear it on the roof. You can probably see it out your window. We certainly can. It's 51 degrees and east wind at nine miles an hour here. Uh, in uh, the Blue Chip Casino over in Michigan City, it looks like maybe the rain has let up just a little bit over there. You can actually make out the waters of Lake Michigan there in the distance where it's 50 degrees with a northeast wind, six miles an hour up along the shoreline, a little farther north in St. Joe and Benton Harbor. Uh, you get a good look at the horizon here. I wouldn't call it clear skies by any stretch, but again, it looks like maybe the rain has let up just a little bit up there, 50 degrees. And you notice these winds a little stronger along the lake, 16 miles an hour gusting up to 20. 25 and those winds will actually pick up as we get into the afternoon. One thing you do notice is not a lot of wave action out there right now, but that's because the winds are out of the northeast, so they're essentially blowing offshore. Later on today, they get switched around and they start coming out of the northwest and you will see those waves really begin to pile up. Uh, here's our current radar and so you can see and, and we can hear and feel the rain coming down. There's a very strong band of rain right across the South Bend area, very close to the state line of Michigan. It looks like there's another one just offshore perhaps of St. Joe, Michigan, but uh, it is really coming down right here as we speak. And here's why. You see this giant area of low pressure. Now you, we always talk about this comma shape and, and it is very clearly defined here. So this is the cold front that extends all the way down into the Gulf states, but the center of low pressure right now is right here in northwest Indiana. We are on the very northern edge of that, and that's where the heaviest rain is coming down. If this were a winter storm, boy, we'd be buried in snow, wouldn't we? But as this moves off to the east, the winds will shift around to the northwest, and that will bring us that colder air as we head toward game time. Current conditions in the 50s. Again, you notice the, the wind dots that are blowing from the east there. They're blowing from the west uh, farther south. So this is that area right here where there's the center of low pressure and circulation. Estimated rainfall continues to increase and uh, some areas have had up to two inches of rain. I think the South Bend area is getting pretty close to that now. Uh, we had an inch of rain from five o'clock last night to six o'clock this morning and we've been definitely adding to that over the last probably uh, 45 minutes or so. Future track wind gusts uh, will notice that uh, they'll be uh, this morning not too bad. We, we got up around St. Joe as we noted maybe a 30 mile an hour gust whoops but some of these will get up to 35 40 miles an hour as we head into the afternoon. So so for the tailgate forecast, you want to make sure that you tie those tents down because you can see these winds gusting this afternoon from about 2 to 3, 4 o'clock. They'll be up around 30 mile an hour winds, maybe up around 35 to 40. So you do want to be prepared for that. Also be prepared for rain. And as for the game itself, Notre Dame Stadium tonight will be wet when it starts out. Uh, that'll be at 730. But we do expect the rain to ease off as we head through the game. The temperatures will be quite cool. And with those winds really howling, those wind chills will be around 40 degrees perhaps even a little bit cooler than that. It'll feel like it's in the 30s. Future track shows you how that rain eventually moves out of here by later this afternoon. We do expect by game time to see a few lake effect type rain showers, but uh, you know, for the most part, I, I think we'll get the game in in fairly dry conditions, but the field itself, of course, will be quite wet. Take a look at the 10 day forecast here then. 55 degrees for high today. Lots of rain out there this morning. It eases off a bit by game time. Tomorrow, just a few lingering lake effect type showers, maybe a peak of sunshine by the afternoon and a little bit of a recovery toward the middle of the week.